This is a rare 1970 Dodge Coronet 500 convertible. Number matching 3D3 big block, number matching trans, all original Arizona rust-free metal, original Hemi orange color. There's rotisserie restored. We just acquired it locally from a collector that we've known for decades. He's owned this car for 17 years. He did the restoration. It's got about 1,500 miles on it since it's been done. Uh, just a beautiful car. He did add the RT features to it during the restoration. He has factory air, power steering, power disc brakes, and a Dana rear end. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information. Look at all the pictures top to bottom. That's where you'll find a price tag on every car along with the monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. You also find there a buy it now button. If you really like a car, click the button before someone beats you to it. That just locks it in for you while you have a chance to look at it and talk to the salesman. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. Yeah, it's a clean Arizona rust-free car, original panels. He had it sandblasted down to bare metal uh, and flipped the car in a rotisserie. So it was taken down to a bare shell, completely restored. Starting up front here, the fender looks really nice and clean. No issues. Clean all the way to the bottom. It all lines up real nicely. And this was painted back around 06, 07. It's holding up really well. It's got the RT scoops on each side, even right around the wheel well lip here. No bubbles. I haven't found any bubbles, even down low. Has the typical convertible crack right here, just a straight line crack. This all looks really good. Same thing over here. Got the crack right here going on. Straight, clean, no rust, clean right around the lip here. Clean rockers, door. All this is smooth, clean fender. Body's in really nice shape, very nice. EV2 is the paint code, that's Hemi Orange. That's the original color. The fender tag is on the engine. We'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, that is the code that's on there. Overall, very smooth, glossy finish. Has a little bit of texture in places, probably about equivalent to your new car. Older paint job, it has picked up a few scratches. There's one right on top of the fender right here. The hood was the RT hood that was added. Uh, not an easy hood to find. I remember years ago, we were missing one of these scoops and I paid 700 bucks just for that. Uh, so it does have the RT hood with the hood pins. Also has the optional fender turn signals. Marker lights look real nice. Wheel well moldings look new. New reproduction antenna. Here's a chip that's touched up. Here's a little tiny chip right here. Windshield was replaced, crystal clear. The rubber's soft. The stainless is not polished like chrome, but it's not beat up. The vent window frame is nice original. The trim on top of the door is not beat up, but it has surface, uh, light surface wear. Door handles look new. RT emblems look new. I mentioned the cracks. There's also a little texture right in this area on both sides. It has a painted on bumblebee stripe, practically smooth to the touch. You can barely feel it. Uh, the blacked out panel in back, the RT emblem, that's all in good shape. A few light scratches, so it's not perfect, but it all looks good. Here's a little dent. The original bumpers were re chrome they were not reproduction. Uh, white convertible power top, there's pictures of that on our website. Uh, it has a real nice boot. Matter of fact, it's from Legendary. Uh, they have premium interior. Uh, the boot and interior is all Legendary. Uh, reproduction 15-inch rally wheels. Got some nice BF Goodrich tires on there. Uh, chrome remote mirror. That looks new. Thought there was a couple more chips I had noticed, so could use a little touch-up here and there. Does touch up nicely, like the one they did touch up. You can't see unless you're looking for it. So yeah, it's a beautiful car. Let's check out the, uh, the inside and under the hood. Let's see what the trunk looks like. We've got extra keys too, by the way. There is a book uh, 
that'll go with it with filled with receipts. So underneath here is painted nicely. Jam is painted nicely. Weather strip is replaced. The trunk mat is replaced. Now, if you're a Mopar guy, you know that all the trunks rusted out in Mopars. Convertibles especially, they would leak, that water would get under the mat, they would rust. This is a really solid original trunk pan. Yeah, there's some pitting, but that's a solid original trunk. They're, they're all replaced by now, so that, that I was pretty impressed with, actually. The well liner for the top was replaced. Looks like it has a reproduction tire that's never been used for a spare. Reproduction jack assembly. So a nice trunk compartment. Door jams are painted nice. The bottom of the doors are rust free. Weather strips are replaced. Door panels, armrests, uh, that was replaced. The wood grain trim shows a little bit of age. That's original. Now I did have the dash was sent out and professionally restored. It's the rally gauges. The quartz movement in the clock and all the chrome trim and the fronts of the gauges. This is all restored professionally. It has the original AM radio, original vents, the dash pad. All this is in really good shape. The light works. Owner's manual, new liner. It's got a nice stereo. They kind of didn't hide the wires very well, so it's a good idea. I think the wires should be tucked under a little better. It has a center console in very good shape. The seats are re-cushioned, re-upholstered. And now you got these speakers too. So either pull the stereo out or spend a minute and tidy up the wires, whatever you prefer. Uh, interior looks really good in back. These little interior lights work. That was pretty cool. The trim's all painted up real nice. It's got a nice steering wheel. The visors and the mirror look new. So overall, very good interior, very nice interior. So this is the original VIN number matching. 383, even though it says 440 in the air cleaner, it's the original 383 motor. All stock manifolds, valve covers, distributor. Uh, you know, everything looks correct. It's an air-conditioned car, which is rare in a Mopar convertible. You know, all this stuff looks nice and clean. The whole engine bay is nice, clean metal. You got the washer bottle. It's got new horns. The alternator looks new. So reproduction hose and clamps and the right shroud. So this is the air conditioning compressor. You got power steering, you got power brakes. So the battery is all secured properly. Here's the original fender tag right here. Has the VIN number is stamped back here on the core support, matches the car. All the components look nice. The squirters are hooked up, has hood insulation. So a very nice motor compartment, too. I just learned of some more information. Uh, one, the trunk light works. I always like it when that works. I did confirm it is a 383 motor. He put the 440 emblem on the air cleaner because he made an RT440 clone out of the car. I just looked up. They made 219 RT440 convertibles. They made 147 uh, Cornet 500s with the 383. So this car... Uh, as it was, is actually more rare than the RT440. 
So uh, it's a rare car regardless. They don't make many Mopar convertibles in any model. Now the paint is flaking right here. And then I told you there's a couple more scratches. There's one on the edge here, a little nick right up here. So overall, this is a very nice car. I told you it's a rotisserie restoration. It's got a lot going for it. They didn't take it to 10 level status. It's probably an eight, just a really nice cruise night quality car. But don't take lightly that it is number match. Great options, rust-free Arizona metal. So the whole underneath of the car, clean frame rails, floors, the inner quarter panels, all nice dry clean, all painted orange. Uh, all the suspension was rebuilt, has a PST front end kit, also a PST brake overhaul kit. They are disc in front, new dual exhaust. It sounds great. Uh, it's got the right tips coming out the back here. Fuel system was replaced. When you look up at the motor, and we have pictures on our website, the VIN number down by the oil pan matches the car, the casting codes, the dates are correct. It's the same exact stamp that's on the transmission that matches the car as well. He did upgrade the rear end. It's a Dana 60 heavy duty rear end with 355 sure grip gears in the back. So this car has got a lot to offer. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions, uh, including how to get it to your driveway, how to get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.